Did you know that Fram just released another brand new filter? Yeah, it's this one right here. It's called the Fram Synthetic Endurance. And on the box here, it says 25,000 miles of protection. So is this new top of the line filter any good? Well, at 13 bucks, it better be. Let's cut it open and see what's inside. All right, let's take a closer look at this thing. You can see we have the typical orange and white Fram logo across the top of the box here, but I also really like the orange and the navy blue color that they have, and as well as this kind of like gold yellow color. That's just the box, of course, but it just looks cool is all I'm saying. It says synthetic endurance. It says 25,000 mile protection. It says high flow synthetic oil filter, 360 degrees of texture grip. And it says perfect seal, no stick gasket. So the gasket they use to mate the filter to the engine right there um, apparently is a no stick gasket. It also says heavy duty base plate. So this top base plate here is gonna be probably a thicker type of metal. It does say right down here, full synthetic media. So I'm gonna be interested to see what that looks like, especially compared to the Fram Ultra Synthetic, which I also thought was a good filter when I cut this one open. Keep going, Ooh, okay. keep going, keep going. There we go. Whoa! So we'll be comparing those two, but let's take this filter out of the box. Alrighty, that's it. Nothing else in the box, of course. And this is the filter. We have a navy blue textured finish. The metal on this filter does seem to feel very, very thick, very nice. This also seems a lot nicer than what I've seen in the past on some basic filters. Um, I can see inside the hole and I can see that that filter surround in there is metal. And this Fram part here is just a sticker. So uh, where it says Fram Synthetic Endurance, the, the model number here and you know some little instructions on how to install the filter. This is just a sticker, which is fine that it's a sticker. I'm just letting you know. All right, so on the top here, it says product of USA. So that's good. We know this is made here in America. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this gasket they're talking about that is the no stick gasket. This is a pretty thick gasket. I'm not sure, exactly sure what these colors on this gasket mean. Maybe somebody out there knows a thing or two about these rubber gaskets, but it does seem to be rubber. Coming back over here to this ultra synthetic seal. Let's take this off and right away we can see there is a pretty big difference in how thick that is. Look at the difference in that. I don't really know what that means other than, you know, thicker and fatter. It's also a little bit thicker this way. Um, is, you know, this one's obviously gonna be stronger because it's thicker. And let's go ahead and cut this thing open. And that way we can see what's inside. I can hear it cracking. All right, it might be all the way through, there we go. There we go. You know what, before we take a look at what's inside this Fram Synthetic Endurance, Let's set that aside and let's first pull out the filter media of this Fram Extra Guard and then we'll pull out the media of the Ultra Synthetic so we can compare all three of them. So with the Fram Extra Guard, we're going to pull the cap off. Here's that valve. Seems to be a nice valve there. Um, and we have cardboard end caps, a stamp spring. The inner core on this one is metal, and then we have our media. I mean, it doesn't look like a bad filter by any means. All right, so on to the Fram Ultra Synthetic. So again, there's our valve. Seems to be just the same as the Fram Extra Guard. And when we pull this out, we can see that our end caps are all metal, and we have the same, uh, it seems the same stamped, yep, that looks like the same stamped spring there in the bottom there. And our filter media, which looks really nice on this, uh, ultra synthetic. Got to remember all the names of these things. Okay, so here it goes, guys, the Fram Synthetic Endurance. Let's take a peek at what's inside. Here is that base plate, which seems really thick and nice. All right. Well, that looks like the same sort of material that we found in the other two. So let's pull the media out. And what do we find? We find another stamped spring there in the bottom. We find a metal inner core, and this is 
you know, more or less the same as the other two filters. And we find our filter media. And this filter media is white. Um, it definitely looks similar to this filter media, which is pink. So I know that it's not the same though. You can tell that the grain on this filter from the ultra synthetic is a little bit kind of like a thicker looking grain, almost looks like fiberglass, which is probably what it is. And this one is a much finer grain. That's the best way that I can describe it here. I don't, I don't know if those are the official terms there, but that's just what makes sense to me. Um, what I do see is a lot of this goopy glue kind of everywhere. Um, and that's how they put these end caps on this is by gluing it. And so a lot of glue could be a good thing. It means that none of this is gonna come apart. I mean, overall, yeah, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with this so far. Everything looks to be pretty pretty, pretty nice. All right, I'm gonna try with a couple sets of pliers here. See if I can pull this thing apart. This is obviously not a conventional way of doing this. I just thought it might be interesting. Okay, we're getting there. Okay. All right, I got it all apart. I kind of messed it all up, but we can look at it anyway. So here's the inner core and yeah, it's it's metal. Nothing more to say about that other than it looks nice. But here is the filter media and uh, this is pretty much all of it right here. And you can see this metal kind of mesh stuff that backs up the whole filter media so it is essentially attached to it and then folded up into accordion shape it seems decently sturdy and the white material not exactly sure what that is so on the box it says synthetic microglass media probably not good to be breathing this this definitely isn't recommended but uh, synthetic microglass media and according to the box here it does say that this valve is a silicone valve and as far as the center tube goes according to the box it does say high flow high strength center tube so the way that they have punctured this apparently is high flow the box says wire mesh media support which we see here and of course heavy duty uh, construction for maximum durability so this cap here compared to the uh, ultra synthetic here um, it does seem to be i guess more robust even these threads here and how thick the, the steel is around that is thicker than what's on the ultra synthetic here okay now comparing the actual can um, this is a smaller can, and so therefore it might feel more sturdy than this one being taller if I'm squeezing it here. But this one obviously does feel stronger. The synthetic endurance, the new one, feels stronger than this ultra synthetic. Now looking at the Fram Extra Guard. Gosh, it's so hard to tell. All right, so the $64,000 question, which is better? I'm just gonna stick with what Fram is saying, that they say that this is a 25,000 mile protection. And for this ultra synthetic, they're saying 20,000 miles. They had to have done some kind of calculations, some kind of math there to come up with those numbers. So I'm gonna go ahead and trust them and say that this new synthetic Endurance, I'll just say filter as a whole, is better than the uh, ultra synthetic. Although, like I said, when I cut this open, I was pleasantly surprised with how nice this was. I'm actually impressed, gotta say. I I'm, am too, I'm I didn't impressed. think I'd see any difference. I'm like, oh, it's an oil filter, like whoop de doo But there is a significant difference. I bet you have never even really seen inside of an oil filter, let alone cut yeah. one open. I didn't even know what we were doing until <sighs> five minutes ago. You can see there's no big giant globs of glue anywhere. You can see the glue, of course, but it's not. It just seems to be very well constructed. I really like this filter. So what say you? Are you liking what you're seeing here? I'm not a professional filter, oil filter disassembler. I'm just a typical oil filter user who'd like to see what's inside of a brand new 25 thousand mile filter. Of course, I would never ever go 25 thousand miles in between my oil changes, three to 5,000 miles at most. Um, I'm all, always mostly using the factory recommended uh, filters, but in this case, I've got a second one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this one into my truck. Well, as I mentioned, this is the filter for my truck, which is a 2003 Chevrolet Suburban. And I currently have an oil change going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this filter up there. 
There we go, Fram Synthetic Endurance FE3506. And this is the filter that I normally run. This is the factory recommended AC Delco PF46E. Quite a different design looking at the top there. And looking inside, you can see the filter tube is a nylon or plastic type material. Some may say they don't like these filters, but it is the recommended filter for my truck from the factory. So that's what I've been using. But I definitely have no problems trying out a theoretical much better filter. All right, I already have the oil drained and my old filter off. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide on this new one. And that filter is on. Here's the start right after the new oil change. There goes the oil pressure, and it's all looking good. Engine sounds good, it's nice and smooth, and there's no leaks underneath coming from the filter. Well, I guess that about wraps it up for the Fram Synthetic Endurance brand new oil filter. Uh, this box is empty because I just installed that on my truck, so um, I was confident enough with what I saw, and it seems like a very, very good filter in my opinion. Um, so that's why I installed it on my truck and that's why I'm running it right now. So the thing is though, is who is this filter for? I mean, maybe it's for the people who don't change their oil all that often, who know that, hey, I'm not gonna be able to, you know, get my oil changed or change my oil myself um, for at least every 10,000 miles. I'm just, you know, I just can't get to it. Um, so I want a filter that's gonna last that long. Well, Fram says this lasts 25,000 miles Personally, I would never, ever, ever go that long without changing my oil because I feel like that oil is going to break down. Uh, even if this thing still is, is working great, that oil, I just can't see that oil lasting 25,000 miles, um, especially in today's uh, modern engines. For my vehicles, I drive slow. I drive them like they're made of glass. So I do think that the uh, original AC Delco factory filters are good enough for my truck. Even though I do always run fully synthetic oil, I just poured in the Kirkland Costco version uh, of oil. It's fully synthetic 5W30. And uh, that's what I've been running the last couple changes. So um, I'm running that also on my other vehicles as well. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the first look and getting to see uh, inside this synthetic endurance. I hope you enjoyed um, seeing what it's made of and just the difference between this one versus the other a couple other fram offerings i know fram has more levels of filter but uh, these are just the ones i had on hand and if you did enjoy it please don't forget to hit that thumbs up uh, it always helps the video and the channel as a whole and uh, if you've watched this far and you're not a subscriber to one road consider subscribing i'm jimmy for one road and i will see you in the next one.